Hello everyone, my name's Tina. I am the principal of this wonderful school. I'm very fortunate to be able to work with some amazing teachers and students and parents. I've been here for now almost, I think, 11 years and during that time I've seen some incredible changes. When I first started we had 110 students and now we're pushing around the 450 mark and growing. I'm fortunate enough to be able to work with a very dedicated um, staff. They put the needs of their students before anything else. Um, they have a great relationship with their parents and we're all here for one reason and that is to educate our beautiful children. The children here um, get on really well, they play nicely, they support one another. So our community is very multicultural and we welcome family involvement. Uh, we have strong ties to the local community. Uh, we try to utilise um, our luxury of being so close to the Melbourne Museum and the IMAX and also the Carlton Gardens Park, which is just across the road. Uh, the curriculum at Carlton Gardens Primary School is made up of literacy, numeracy, inquiry, and then we have four specialist subjects as well, music, PE, um, language other than English, which is Chinese, and art. We cater to the individual students' needs in literacy and numeracy in particular, making sure that we set students' individual learning goals that students work on within the classroom. Our lessons are structured um, more like workshops that provide students with mini lessons where the teachers uh, teach content. We have lots of independent working time and lots of small group activities with the teachers as well as individual conferencing. We also have an intervention program here at our school where children are grouped based on their needs, their learning needs. And it's a great idea because we have, uh, it's an all hands on deck approach. So we have um, teachers from other areas uh, coming in to support children to help them reach learning goals. And we also have opportunities for extension. So not only supporting children who need that little bit of extra help, but also pushing children who um, need more support to grow and extend them in learning areas. During the year we also have some special events that we celebrate. Uh, we have a music concert, we have an art show, we have a very comprehensive camping program which begins with a prep sleepover and extends all the way to overseas trip to China every second year. Um, so over in grade five, six, uh, we're in a really large flexible learning space uh, here at Drummond Street, which is very, very cool. Um, so we have all grade five and grade six students together um, with quite a lot of teachers who are able to help differentiate the classroom and um, help the students meet their needs. It's fantastic, it's really cool because it's going to allow the kids to be able to um, complete tasks and work in the way that suits them best. So you could have children who are working in collaborative learning groups, um, some kids who might be choosing to work independently. Um, um, some students might be deciding to complete tasks using some of the latest technology or other students deciding to work towards completing tasks by you know, in artworks or speeches or whichever works for them. Um, it's a very cool learning space to be a part of um, and it is probably one of the highlights here at Carlton Gardens Primary School. Mm -hmm. 